Good evening, William. Hello, hello. Good evening, William, Enrique. ¿Sí me escuchan? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you today? I'm very well. What about you? How are you doing today? Um, I'm studying music. Music? Okay. Nice. I want I got I want to be a singer. Okay. <laughs> Work for it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um and what do you study, Enrique? The name is Stockholm Music Field. Okay. Do you go there every day or just once or twice a week? I go once a week, only Saturday, but now I begin to study for, I don't know how to say, producir, to make music. Uh, to produce music? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Welcome, Herman, Altagracia, Johnny, Carla, William, and Manuel. Well, welcome to this class. This is the class number three. Hi. This is the class number three. Uh, today is Wednesday, November the 22nd, 2023. Okay. Um, so we have a lesson objective. We are going to uh, study the passive voice today. Um, also, we're going to review the grammar that we have been working on, that is um, infinitives and ing after prepositions, okay? We're going to review that, and at the end, well, we were going to have a conversation, a presentation, doing one activity where you can practice your speaking skills. So by the end of this lesson, students will be able to describe how my department relates to others in the organization. It means in your job, okay? How your department, where you work, relates to others in the, in the company. Okay, good. To start, I have an activity that has... Um, prepositions or ing after prepositions okay let me open this activity okay which is the bird the correct bird are you afraid of mm -hmm. lying lying yes why? Because we are using a preposition here of flying, right? Okay, very good. She is interested in. Uh huh. She is interested in reading. Reading newspapers. Okay. Reading. Okay, very good. My mom is proud of. Uh huh. Is proud of. Winning. Remember that we're going to use ing. Winning. Winning the contest. Okay. Very good. We should be involved in. Taking. Taking care if the planet. Taking care of the planet, right? 
My dad is good at fixing. 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 At fixing things in the house. Okay. And terrible at painting at knitting knitting okay and terrible at knitting okay I am thinking aquí hay un mistake okay I am thinking about Mm -hmm. About going. going, going to the party. Okay. Eating vegetable is good for this. for being healthy. Okay. Do you have questions about that? About the vocabulary? See the prepositions that we are using in the sentences. We have of, in, of, in, at, about, for, At, about, and forth. Okay. All of them are prepositions. And after the prepositions, we are going to use an ing verb. Okay, good. Do you know what is, what is it? Oh, knitting. Do you know what is that? Knitting? No, teacher. Es tejer. Okay. Cuando, cuando su abuelita o su mamá está tejiendo, that is knitting. Okay. This. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Do you have another question about that? Questions about vocabulary in these sentences? Sure. Yes? Um, only that, only this. Um, Solo eso se pueden usar antes del ING. Mm, hay muchos más. Ok, estos solo son ejemplos de prepositions that we can use. Ok. okay. For example, Later. another of this. <laughs> For example, another preposition, it could be after or before. Okay, we are, are going to give you a list of prepositions, okay, where you, we can use that. We can use uh, ING. For example, let me see. No. Let me go here. Okay. Let me look for list of preposition okay we have a list of preposition here this is just an example later on you're going to see more prepositions 
okay? For example, this. We have different prepositions. We have movement, we have manner, place, and common, okay? So, with your experience, con la experiencia que ustedes vayan adquiriendo en, en new vocabulary that you learn, you will realize what are the prepositions, okay? Ustedes van a dar cuenta cuáles son las prepositions. Y ahí ustedes van a tener cuidado. You're going to be careful to use ing verbs after prepositions, okay? Here we have a lot of prepositions. So you can look um, look for them in the internet and you will be able to find a lot of prepositions. Okay, so do you remember the homework I told you? Write in your notebook five sentences using infinitives and five sentences using ing for and after prepositions. Did you work on it? ¿Sí trabajaron? Sí. I'm going to send the link, ¿ok? Les voy a enviar el link donde ustedes me van a, a escribir las oraciones que hicieron. Ok, here in the chat, in the Zoom chat, going to send the link and also going to send it in the group that we have, WhatsApp group. Please write the five sentences there in the link that I sent to you. I'm going to let you know how to use it. Have you used this tool before that is called Padlet? ¿Han usado antes esta tool? Sí. Solo le van a dar clic en, la, en, la, en el signo más que ven acá, en la esquinita. Le va a aparecer esta, esta ventanita. Escriben su nombre aquí. And then aquí, you write your sentences. One, two, three, and so on. Cuando terminen, when you complete, then you click here in publish. Me lo publican, okay? So, and we are going to be able to see the sentences here. I'm going to give you ten minutes, okay? From now to eight twenty-five to complete all of them. That is for everybody, everyone, please. Okay, I will. I will uh, call your names. I'm going to pass the attendance. Voy a pasar lista just to make sure who is here. Okay. Okay. Altagracia Ramirez. Yes. Yes. ¿Quién dijo Miss? Yo, Sandra. Miss, fíjense que no le entiendo cómo voy a hacer las oraciones. Mm, ok. 
Van a utilizar, van a hacer oraciones utilizando infinitives and ing forms after prepositions. Ok, los ejemplos que hemos estado estudiando antes. Ok, this is an example. Ok, I want to eat pizza. This is the infinitive. Pero sí, y el ing se lleva en la preposición. Prepositions before. Cuando lleva una prepositions before the verb, we're going to use ing. I am afraid of flying. Ok. That is an example with uh, ing. La preposición es of. Of, correct. Okay. You can use another prepositions, not only that. You can use more prepositions. So all the prepositions that you know, uh, you can use different prepositions, not only one, okay? Good. Um, let me uh, let me still um. Well, I need to to call everyone to see if you are here. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martinez, are you here, Carlos? Present me. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, Carlos Rodolfo. Carlos Rodolfo. He's not here. Okay, uh, Herman Gustavo Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Herman. Gloria Nicole Espinal. Gloria? No? Okay, Jacqueline Yvette Sanchez. No, Jenny Elizabeth Rivas. Okay, Johnny Ismael Lopez. Johnny. Recuerden que si están ahí, díganme present. Okay, present or I am here to make sure that you are there, okay? Porque esos videos son grabados y luego cuando los auditan, los ven, ahí ven si ustedes están en la clase o no. Porque si usted no me responde es porque no está. Okay, Jorge Alberto Melara. Jorge, no? Carla René Nieto. Present. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Kenia Guadalupe. Kenia. Okay. Uh, Lisbeth Alessandra Alas. Lisbeth. No? Okay. Um, Manuel Antonio? Okay, thank you, Manuel. Paola Guadalupe Tobar? Present teacher. Thank you, Paola. Soraya Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you, Soraya. William Alexander? Present teacher. Thank you, William. Uh, Gianira Gerard, Gerardine Arana. Ok. Uh, A mí me mencionó. Sandra. Sí. Ok. Déjenme ver, Sandra. Sandra Lorena Sosa. Ok. Ok. Do you know Nidia Are? Okay, Nidia is here. Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Estela Vázquez. Blanca. Okay. 
So in total, we have 20 students and I can see mm -hmm. all, only 15, yes? Uh, sorry, estaba en llamada, por eso no puede contestar. Okay. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. We have we are 20 students, okay? And now I can I can see just 15 students. So five students are missing. Okay. Uh Jorge Alberto says present. Okay, thank you, Jorge Alberto. Okay, very good. So at the end of the class, I'm going to uh uh pass the attendance again. Voy a pasar lista otra vez to make sure that every everyone is there. Okay, good. Ready? Did you complete all of them? Did you complete the sentences? No, not yet. Still, you have five minutes, four minutes to do it. So if you don't complete all of them, uh, but please try to try to publish the one that you have. It doesn't matter if you have just two, three, four, but I want to check them. I want to see them. I want to read your sentences. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Two minutes. Si ¿Sí están escribiendo. Yes. Okay, Samuel. Manuel, thank you so much. I had total many books to carry. Please, please be careful with the spelling, okay? Remember that the the pronoun I siempre va a ser a capital letter, okay? Siempre va a ser a letra mayúscula, el I. Okay, lo puede editar. Vayas a los tres puntitos and you click edit post and you can do it. You can uh, edit it. Okay. Okay, everyone, try to submit your uh, sentences, please. Traten de enviármelas, publicarlas. Le voy a ayudar a editarlo, ok. Manuel, I. 
Está en pasado o en futuro. En pasado o en futuro. ¿Me está hablando en pasado o en futuro? Eh, pasado. Pasado. I have to. To do. I have to. To, to do many books to carry. Mm. What do you want to say in Spanish? ¿Qué quiere decir en español? Mm -hmm. mm. Voy a publicar otra cosa. Ok. So, yo la entendería así. Si fuese en presente, I have to carry many books. In my backpack, for example. Tengo que cargar muchos libros en mi mochila. ¿Ok? I have to carry many books in my backpack. ¿Ok? okay. Very good. I have more here. going to read then please try to send more try to send all the ones that you have okay all the sentences that you have and also write your names to to make sure who is um sending the sentences okay Let me read the ones that I have, that I see here. Okay, uh, Sandra says, we are studying English. Mm. No me está utilizando uh, infinitives, ni tampoco me está utilizando uh, prepositions before the verb, ing, en la primera, okay? Tendría que modificarla okay i love sleeping at night to rest i love sleeping at night at night to rest it's okay está bien podemos utilizar after love podemos utilizar el sleeping sí pero no no es una preposition okay yo estaba pidiendo ejemplos cuando hay una prepositions before the verb Okay. They are working in the morning. No tenemos una preposition here. Okay. I like to drink water. Yes, this one is okay. I like to drink water is an infinitive. Okay. Pero una preposition, you know, that there are prepositions, for example, of, about, at, in, on, Okay, after using after the prepositions, the verb will be ing. Try to make examples using prepositions. Okay. Vale, Douglas, digo, las preposiciones to about. La voy a anotar, Miss, porque in on dijo, verdad. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otras dijo? Disculpe. Links of prepositions. Vamos a buscar una lista acá. Ok. Aquí tenemos above, across, against, along, amount, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, by, down, front, in, 
into, near, of, of, on, to, toward, under, upon, with, and within. ¿Ok? Tenemos muchos ejemplos, muchas preposiciones. Usted me puede usar como... Above. Above. Ajá, above. Significa... Como por ejemplo, aquí yo digo, people also ask, please read the sentences that are above. Estas que están aquí. Ah, oh, no, estas serían below, perdón, porque serían abajo. Eh, ese sería above, lo que tengo arriba de esto. Above. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, lo que está abajo de aquí, las oraciones que tenemos aquí serían below. Y las que están arriba, esta otra parte sería above. Arriba. A above significa arriba. Ajá, arriba. Ok, puede utilizar las prepositions más comunes que usted ya sabe, como por ejemplo, las que decíamos uh, at, in, on, uh, y at, ¿qué significa at? At, mm -hmm. at, eh, es del lugar, como por ejemplo puedo decir I am studying, estoy estudiando at the, at the university estoy estudiando en la universidad se refiere a un lugar pero no pudiera ir como antes como antes del verbo, ¿verdad? sí, eh, puede ir también antes del verbo mm. teníamos un ejemplo en el ejemplo que hicimos al inicio, déjenme volver. Aquí teníamos un ejemplo. Solo déjenme pasarlas. Aquí teníamos. También se puede utilizar como uh, decir en, eh, traduciendo esta oración. My dad is good at things in the house. At fixes. At fixing things in the house. Es mi papá es bueno at fixing. Es bueno en reparar. Ok. Reparar cosas en la casa. Tiene varias traducciones, at, depende del contexto. En este caso, okay. la traducción sería en. Okay. Y lo traduce usted al español. I'm terrible at. Ajá, soy terrible. En tejer. At knitting. ¿Qué significa knitting? Tejer. Por ejemplo, ¿Qué? usted está te tejiendo uh, algo con lona, por ejemplo. Con. Ok, ok. Lana. Tejer. Lana, perdón, es la palabra. Lana. Puede tejer algo eh, uh, con lana. That is knitting. Okay, those are the examples. Oh, this is another preposition for, about, okay, other prepositions. Okay, uh, we were here. Let me see what else do we have. ¿Qué más ejemplos tenemos? Muy bien. Um, Okay, Carla Nieto says, I run for winning the race. Okay. I watch ditches at night. Okay. Pero 
no está, no me está utilizando después de at, no me está utilizando un verbo aquí. Ok, remember, that is ing verb, ok, después de la preposition iría un verbo, usted me está utilizando aquí un noun. I don't eat in the car because it's difficult to clean, ok, aquí me está utilizando un uh, infinitive to clean, ok, uh, she visited her grandmother during Christmas. Mm, esta es una preposition, pero no hay un verbo después de la preposition, ¿ok? Remember that the, the, the instruction is use a verb after the preposition, ¿ok? Let me check Johnny's examples. I like to play video games. I like to play, ¿ok? It's an infinitive. I want to learn English. Okay, you are using infinitives. I like to drink coffee. Okay, infinitives. And is interested in studying a new language. Okay, very good example. After the preposition, we have ing. I'm very good at cooking. Yes. After the prepositions, we have the ing. Okay, good. I mean, see, Alta Gracia. I want to eat a tomato, you can say, or a tomato. I want to eat tomato. Okay, I'm afraid. Be careful with this spelling here of running, double N. Lleva doble N. Okay, running. Be careful with the spelling. Tenga mucho cuidado con el, how, cómo van a deletrear las palabras. I had to sleep alone. Okay, good. You are using infinitives here. I like to drink soda. Good. And I'm studying at the university. Mm. Mm. Aquí está utilizando uh, present continuous, okay? No me está utilizando el ing after I mean ING, ING after preposition, okay? Este es otro tiempo. Okay, let me see. Please write your name and um, uh, we are going to see who is writing. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Enrique. I choose the right. I choose the right shoes to run on the marathon. Mm. Okay, to run. Okay, there we have uh, the infinitive. Maria wants, wants hamburgers to eat. Okay, will will sounds better if you said Maria wants to eat hamburgers. Okay. I buy at headphones to listen to music. Okay. I hope to meet Bruno Mars some date. Okay, a spelling here, okay? Sería doble, doble E, no A, okay? Okay, good, infinitives. I uh, use the correct uniform to work. Okay, good. <clears throat> you are using infinitives. I'm great at playing the guitar. Okay, very good, ING sentences. I have a soccer game before coming, before coming to the class. Okay, remember spelling here, he's missing a E. Le falta una E. I go to the beach after ending the party. Okay, good, after, very good. I choose the blue t-shirt for coming today, for coming, very good. I bet, I am bad. Okay, le falta el verbo to be. I am bad at cooking. Okay, excellent. Very good examples, okay? Be careful how to use um prepositions after, before, I mean, 
ing after prepositions and how to use the infinitives, okay? But good job, good job. Who wrote these examples? ¿Quién los, quién los puso? Please write your name. Please write your name. I, I don't see who wrote this example. Soraya? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no name. <laughs> yes. Please write your name. It says, I want to drink coffee. Okay. I want to get on, um, get up. Okay. Aquí es P, no es N. I want to get up. L. I want to watch the ditches. Okay. Aquí me está usando present continuous. No es no es eh, ing after preposition, ¿ok? Porque me está utilizando verbo to be y luego el ing. Este es pres, present continuous, ¿ok? And cooking. Okay, sorry. And drinking. Sorry. Uh -huh, and playing. So that is present continuous. So ing yeah. after, after prepositions is different, ¿ok? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good examples. Thank you so much for the ones that uh, submitted. Okay, we are going to continue. So we have tomorrow and we have Friday to, con to practice more about that topics. Okay, now I have a question for you. What is an organization chart? Why are organization charts important for businesses? Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? So an example of an organization chart is floor manager. That is the, the first one, okay? That is at the top. Then uh, safety engineer. Then maintenance chief, supervisor, maintenance personnel, machine operators, assemblers, truck drivers. So we have, that is the organization chart, okay? So all the positions that are in your company. So do you know, I mean, are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Yes or not? Yes, la, yeah. I think the one, of the organization chart is the past mm -hmm. of uh, the el dueño de la compañía. Okay. Okay. And then the manager, the engineers, or and supervisors, and then the other uh staff. Okay. Very good. Okay, I have a conversation here about organization chart. So I'm going to read it first and then I need volunteers to practice that. Mm. Well, it is the one that we read yesterday, but uh, we read it just once, but now we are going to have the opportunity to practice more, okay? Okay, it's between Jessica and Roxana. Jessica says, hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica, an industrial safety engineer. Okay, sense. Jessica, nice to meet you, she said. And then, uh, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see, I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together, okay? But the maintenance, maintenance shift is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. So I need now two volunteers to practice.
teacher. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Okay, Johnny and who else? Quien más? Me teacher. Enrique. Enrique, okay. So, Enrique, you will be Roxana. And Johnny, you will be uh, Jessica. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsibility responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintaining department. Will will I be responsible to you? Great. All departments work together, but the maintenance chief is the is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I may I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Another two volunteers. Please raise your hands. Hi. Sandra. Okay, thank you so much. Sandra, who else? Ken Mas. Me, teacher. William. Okay, perfect. Okay, Sandra, you will be Jessica and William will be Roxana. Go ahead. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safe of the plan. I see I'll be part of the maintenance. Maintenance department, will I be responsible to, to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintaining, maintenance chief is charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Maintenance. Okay, maintenance. That is the correct pronunciation, okay? Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, okay thank you. Maintenance. Main. Como que decimos main, ¿ok? Solo main, que se llama... Hay una palabra que solo es main, que significa como principal, main, and then tenance, ¿ok? Maintenance. 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 Yes. Very good. Uh, help. Que okay, que se escucha la P al final. Help. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Another volunteers to to uh, practice this conversation. Another two, just two more. Dos más. Mm -hmm. Two volunteers. Dos más. Okay, let me see. Um, I will select two. 
Okay, William, give me one number between one to 20. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, Gustavo Ramírez. <laughs> no, give me one number. Solo dígame un número. Oh, sorry. Um, number 10. Number 10. Okay, Carla René. Yes, Carla is here. Are you there, Carla? Yes. Okay, good. You will be one volunteer. Now, Carla, give me another number from 1 to 20. Pero no el 10, ¿ok? Because you are 10. 7. 7. Ah, uh, Jenny Elizabeth. She's not here. Ok, let me go to 6. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Sanchez. Ok. Uh, Jacqueline, are you there? Jacqueline? Hello, Jacqueline. Okay. Give me another number, Carla. I'm um. From 1 uh -huh. to, to 20, pero que no sea el 10, ni el 7, ni el 6. Mm, 14. 14. Ok, Paola Guadalupe. Are you there, Paola? Paola Guadalupe. Jessica. Ok, very good. So, Carla, René will be Jessica and Paola will be Roxana. Go ahead. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. James, Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will be responsible to you great our departments work together but the maintenance chief is in charge of direct of directing your department you'll be responsible to him thank you jessica my i call you if i need help sure sure okay good May, may I call you, okay? May I call you if I need help? Okay, good, good, very good. So good practice. Okay, please repeat this word. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance, okay? Okay, good job. Thank you so much, everybody. Do you have questions about uh, this conversation, vocabulary that you see there? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No questions? Okay, so we're going to continue. Discuss the answers to the questions below, okay? Ahí estamos utilizando una preposición, below. Significa las preguntas que están abajo, okay? Discuss the answers to the questions below. Compare your answer with another pair, okay? So, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personal in the plant, according to the conversation? Who is responsible? Jessica. Jessica. Jessica department. Okay. My department, she said. Okay. Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? 
Mm -hmm. Jessica también. Jessica. Okay. Great. Our department work together, it says, but the maintenance chef is in charge of directing your department. So, ma maintenance shift, okay? That they are in charge of directing the department, okay? Um, who is Roxana responsible to? Who is Roxana responsible to? Jessica. Jessica? Bueno, está preguntando de qué es responsable Roxana. ¿De qué? Man, manten, manten, uh -huh. Department. Ok. She will be responsible. Uh -huh. ¿De quién está hablando aquí? Him. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién, ¿A quién se refiere cuando dice him? Él. Mm -hmm. Chief. The chef, okay, maintaining chef, maintaining chef. Es como el principal, ¿ok? He's in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Ella va a ser responsable de... de esa persona, del maintenance shift. De, como, el, eh, como el principal de ese departamento. ¿Ok? Good. Look at the organizational chart above. Ok, vamos a ver el organizational chart, que es este. Um, who are the safety engineer in the maintenance shift responsible to? Who are the safety engineers in the maintenance shift responsible to? ¿De quién es responsable el safety engineer? The supervisor and maintaining maintain <laughs> personal. Okay, the supervisor, machine operators, assemblers, and truck oh. drivers. De todo, bueno, uh, we have uh, the supervisor and then the, super, the supervisor will be in charge of the other uh, staff. That is machine operator, samples, and truck drivers. Okay? Okay, good. Um, now, we're going to make a review how to use ING form as the prepositions. Look at the questions in example number three and complete the statements below. Okay, uh, use verb, use a verb plus S, I, and G after prepositions like for or of in expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to, okay? Después de estas frases o prepositions, vamos a utilizar ing forms, uh, verbs, ¿ok? We have there, examples. For, of, y luego tenemos expresiones que ya son como frases más largas que es una, solamente una preposition. Pero si se fija, también lleva una preposition al final. Be responsible for. Aquí tenemos otra preposición al final. Be in charge of. 
Tenemos una preposición al final. Be accountable for. Tenemos una preposición. Committed to. Dedicated to. Ok. So, después de esas expresiones, vamos a utilizar ing form. To say who you report to, just be responsible to. Be accountable to. To talk about your responsibilities, just be responsible for. Be in charge of. Be accountable for. Okay? Those are tips that the material is saying when we are going to use this kind of uh, phrases. Okay? That is to report that you are responsible or that you are accountable to. Okay. Do you have questions related to how to use ING for after prepositions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes or not? Según entiendo, después de, de las preposiciones que aparecen ahí, se ocupa ING. Correct. Uh -huh. O S al final del verbo. ING. ING. Uh -huh. ING. En la segunda, donde dice, to say who you report to you, se refiere a cuando voy a dar una información sobre algo. ¿Me puede leer la, la frase, por favor, otra vez? Donde dice, to say who you report, es como cuando usted va a dar información sobre algo. Uh -huh. Correcto. To say who you report to. Yes, when you are going to say information about your job to someone or about another uh, event to someone, okay? Um, the examples that are there, it is be responsible to and be accountable to. Okay. We're going to bring more, more exercises about these grammar points for tomorrow and also Friday, okay? Now that we can practice. Okay, here we have another chart, okay? Uh, this is an organizational chart in the company Rex. Complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form, then read the information in the Rex organizational chart to answer the questions, check answer with a partner. Okay, so the questions that we have here are the followings. Who is responsible for? Supervise the machine operator. According to the chart, who is responsible to supervise the, the machine operator? The supervisor. Supervisor. Okay, the supervisor. Let me. Supervisor. No, no, no. Here is the verb. Vamos a utilizar el verbo. La respuesta, esa otra respuesta es aquí. ¿Qué estaríamos utilizando aquí? The Super same bite. verb. Superbytes. Uh -huh. Supervising. Supervising, oh. yes, because we are using what we are using before. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Preposition, right? Who's responsible for supervising, supervising uh, the machine operators? Supervisor. Okay. Who's in charge of? Check the quality of the product. Checking. Who? Checking. Oh. Uh. Auditor. The auditor, yes. Correct. So who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? Uh huh? The audit auditor. The auditor. Yes. Who is responsible for repairing the problem of the machines? Uh, computer. Mm -hmm. computer department. The problem of the machines. Safety engineer. Maintenance chief. Maintenance, right? Or maintenance personnel, maybe. Porque ellos son los... Ajá, porque ellos son los que les dan mantenimiento. Ok. Good. Uh, who is accountable for selling the product? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who sells the product? ¿Quién sería? Sales. The auditor. Sure. Sales department. Ellos serían los encargados de vender los productos, right? Sales department. Because it says, who is in accountable for selling the product? Sales department. Okay. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Mm -hmm. The assemblers? Who is supervisor. supervisor? Okay, the supervisor is the responsible, the in charge. Okay, who is accountable for managing the whole operation. Mm -hmm. The whole operation sería? Todo. Todo. General lo. manager. The general manager. That is correct. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. The general manager is in charge of the whole operation. Okay, good. So now we're, we are going to create a basic organizational chart about your company. Describe how you and your department relate to the other departments. Discuss your responsibilities, who you report to. Okay, ¿a quién le, le reportan ustedes sus actividades? And then you are going to go um, and explain your orga organizational chart to your partners, to your class, to your classmates. Be ready to answer your partner questions. If your partners ask you information, so be ready to answer them. So what we are going to do, basically you are going to do a chart. Van a ser como, como un organizational short. Okay, try to locate who is the general manager and then who follows the position and so on. Okay, and at the end, um, 
What are your responsibilities and who you report to? ¿A quién le reportan ustedes? Okay. I'm going to send this um, example. So let me... Send it to you, just a moment. Okay, going to copy this, this one. It is just an example. This is just an example. Okay, going to send it to the chat. Se lo voy a enviar al chat para que tengan un ejemplo en el chat. Do you have questions about what you are going to do? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No, no hay preguntas antes de iniciar. Okay, good. Okay, let me open the the groups. We're going to to working groups. We are fifteen students. Somos quince. Voy a crear otra vez cinco grupos. Ok, Alta Gracia, Johnny and William. Then we have Araceli, Enrique, Kenia, Herman, Jacqueline, and Sandra, Blanca Estela, Carla, and Soraya. Then we have Jorge, Alberto, and Manuel. Ok, let me open the rooms and I will be checking that you are working. You can use any um, app. Pueden usar cualquier aplicación or you can use a program to create the organizational chart or you can do it in your, in your notebook. Si no, lo, no tienen un programa, lo pueden hacer in your notebook and take a picture, le toman una foto y esa la van a explicar. Okay? Let me open the rooms. Les llega una invitación, ¿ok? Accept the invitation that you received to join to the new room. Please try to go to the to the rooms, guys. Acepten la invitación. Si tienen problemas, me dicen, por favor, para ver cómo les puedo ayudar, pero traten de aceptar su invitación al room donde han sido asignados.
Herpan, Kenya, Manuel, and Jacqueline. Are you there? Están ahí? Hi, sir. Les llegó la invitación. Traten de unirse. Traten de aceptar la invitación. Miss, me salí del grupo. Teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, which is your group? ¿Cuál es su grupo, Johnny? Number El, one. Number one. Please. Okay, ya se le envié la invitación otra vez. Herman, Herman, are you there? Kenya? Well, um, I know Kenya is is as a listener, but uh Jacqueline and Herman, please let me know if you um are there. Are you available? Okay. A final set. General <laughs> operative is general general. Finance. Yeah. Finance. 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 Uh -huh. General Manager. Right. Oh, operation Manager. Gerente de Operaciones. Operative mm -hmm. Manager. Oh. General Operative o oh, General. <laughs> General. <laughs> General. <laughs> Operative General. General Operative. Okay. Yes. Y General. And General. Finance. Es que no es que pongámosle de un solo. Este general manager, porque ellos son los gerentes generales. Ambos. Uh -huh. Sí, o sea, gerencia general. Okay. General manager. General. General manager. General manager. Sí, sí. General manager. The first. The Mr. Olivares, Mrs. The of Olivares. And we have we have to put the number. The, the no, 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 it's necessary. No, it's necessary. Um, okay, manager. Only department. Okay. General manager. Um, 
Auditor. Auditor. Follow the auditor. Um, the wall, see. Auditor. Yes. And and uh, department the human department. resources. The part, the the department the human resources. Department the human resources. The human yes. We okay. the human resource human resources. Human resources. Sorry. Yes. Uh, um in con table con department production department sería jefe de ventas sería sales sales chief ¿Qué otro puesto estaría al mismo nivel? ¿El supervisor? Sí, supervisor podría ser. Supervisor de ventas podría ser. Sí. ¿Cómo hacen para meterse a chat para ver la imagen? En el grupo, está en el grupo de WhatsApp, no sé si ya se agregó. Ah, sí, 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 está ahí, está ahí, lo, lo envió. Mm. Ok, sí, pero primero, primero sería, aquí me parece Sales Manager, como jefe de ventas. Ajá, ajá, cabal. Floor Manager. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Manuel, Sandra, are you there?
Hello team. Is someone here? Hay alguien aquí? Hello, hello. Hello, Herman, Kenya. Well, Kenya is as a listener, but Herman, okay, you are as oyente too. Okay, Paola too, and, Mel and Jorge Alberto too. What about you, Jacqueline Sanchez? Hello, Manuel. Hello, Sandra. Hello, hello. Solo llevamos el el sales manager, el supervisor el de ventas supervisor. y el asesor de ventas. Uh -huh. Los vendedores. Uh -huh. Sí, eso sería. Uh -huh. El manager, asesor de ventas sería el otro y los vendedores sería sellers sellers sería asesor sería los vendedores Solo así lo vamos a dejar.
Hello, team. Are you ready? Están listos? No yet. How many minutes do you need? ¿Cuántos minutos más necesitan? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Please. Please. Okay. Okay. Hola. Hola. Ahí en el en el chat le he mandado así está más o menos ahorita. Solamente tenemos cuatro. Uh, ahí podríamos agregar este ¿cómo se llama? distribuidores podría ser uh -huh. sí resolve 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 conflict. Yes, uh, with the employees. Um, how much is innovated with products, new products for the sales? Create new products, products. Product? New product. 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 Product innovation. Yes. Okay. And with your and, and others. <laughs> Multiple parts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Enrique. Are you there? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm really sorry. I tried to send someone else to your group, but nobody joined to your group. Then I tried to send you to another group, but I, they... I, I do the work. I, I finished it. Okay. Are you working alone? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. So I can see that there are a lot of students as a listeners. That is why they are not working and they cannot join, I guess, or they, I don't know, They but they don't, don't join the, the, the teams. We have that inconvenience. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. Have you studied English in another place, Enrique? Or this is the first place besides high school? No, I'm studied um in a TFL. It's like in support. Oh, okay. But I studied when I was twelve. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, that is good. Teacher, I'm finished, but I don't know who. who... No es como compartir la pantalla. Oh. Eh, hay una flechita verde ahí a la par del chat que dice share screen. Ahí la puede compartir.
Hello. Hello, hello. I'm waiting for all of you. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Thanks so much. We were 15 students and now I have just 11. I don't know what happened with the rest. <laughs> okay. They are asleep. I'm sorry? They are sleeping. I don't know. Maybe they are sleeping. But um, from all the five groups that I uh, organized, just two groups has been working and the others are no, they didn't work. So that is difficult to control, right? But uh, I can see a lot of students that are just as a listeners, they say oyente, okay? Um, I understand if they have a probably uh, an inconvenience, it's okay. But as I said before, as I said at the first day, como dije el primer día, okay, try to avoid to be just as a listener, uh, eviten estar como oyentes, okay? Porque si ustedes están solo como oyentes todos los días, so, no estamos haciendo nada, ¿verdad? Porque no están poniendo atención, probablemente. Um, okay, let me see. I have the group number one, that is, where is Alta Gracia, Johnny, and William. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, you can share your screen. Yes. Okay. You can share your screen uh, and let me see if you have probably um, you have a picture or image that you can show and explain so you can do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Johnny, you can explain. Yes, I already. Okay. So, oh, let me stop sharing mine. Now you can do it. Try to share your 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 screen. Yes. Oh, you only have it here in the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp. Well, let me share that for you. Let me let me open the image. No, 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 la mira. All right, there you have it. Oh, la, la envío acá o como? No, 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 no. Let me, let me share that for you. Just a moment. Sorry. Lo voy a compartir para usted. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. You can start now. Um, the first and uh, general manager. Okay. And the audit department. Um, human resource department and a calling department, sales department, production department, and maintenance department. Maintenance department, okay. Accounting, so it is missing one N. Es, le falta una letra ahí. Oh. Okay. And okay. What are, which Auditor. department? Yes. No, accountant. Ah, accountant, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
so which department in which department do you work uh production department production department okay good and what are your activities your tasks and um, check the product check the um asset assistance here come on please attendance 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 um the the play employees mm -hmm. um, um results of conflict in the personal and result problems with materia prima como se the the material the material that you use to for production the for production yes okay uh and who do you report to a quien le reporta usted general manager audit department okay and... okay very good thank you johnny okay Okay, so going to stop sharing that. Now, in the group number four, where is Blanca, Carla, and Soraya? Ready? Blanca, Carla, and Soraya. Ready? Están listas? Hello, um, Carla. Carla, que explique, por favor. Okay, Carla. Uh, um, you can share your screen or uh, if you... um create a, a chart, organizational chart. Did you do it? Si lo crearon? Yes. Okay. We created. Good. So you can share your screen. Puede compartir su pantalla. ¿Puede compartirla o tiene dificultades? Um, un poco. Ok, ahí a la par donde dice participantes, apps, no sé cómo, si usted la, está, la tiene de su computadora o su, de su teléfono. Eh, ¿De dónde tiene abierta la miren? Zoom. En el teléfono. Ah, ok. ¿Y lo que creó lo tiene en su teléfono? Sí, también. Ok. So, ahí tiene que tener una opción que dice share screen. ¿Le aparece? Dice compartir. Dice, bueno, si lo tiene en español, dice compartir pantalla. Pues no me sale en realidad, me sale una gran lista de otras cosas. Mm, ok, try to explain Perdón. it. Explíquelo solo con sus palabras. Ya que no lo podemos compartir, just explain according to what you remember. Um, 
sería mm. sales department mm. what We is have... the, what is the main department el primero el primero quién es el principal mm. uh, the sales manager is the, the first the sales manager okay Then? Uh, then we have supervisors and sales advisors. Okay. And the supervisors. Mm -hmm. Se desglosa. No sé cómo sería ahí. Are divided. Se dividen. Are divided in sellers and dealers. Okay. Sellers and dealers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There is a, a, a supervisor for, for sales? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So what else? Only that? Uh, for the moment, yes. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Um. Now, let me just introduce. Okay. What is a reputation? How do business build the reputation in the reputation reputation of the place you work for? Okay. So that means that uh, que escuchamos de bueno de esa company. ¿Cuál es la reputación que tiene? Okay. So we're going to speak about that tomorrow. Okay. And we're going to see passive voice tomorrow. Okay. Vamos a ver la voz pasiva. Eh, vamos a tener más ejemplos de passive voice. Y vamos a hacer eh, los... La, las oraciones que están aquí, ¿ok? Si usted tiene tiempo de repasar un poquito Passive Voice, hágalo, ¿ok? Hágalo antes de la clase para que si usted tiene preguntas, so we're going to answer them, ¿ok? Let me take, let me, let me take attendance. Voy a pasar la lista otra vez. Altagracia. Altagracia, are you, are present, you present, 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 oh, teacher. Okay. Um, Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique. Okay. Carlos Rodolfo. Me imagino que cuando lo llamó para lo de la actividad, no me dejaba entrar, entonces me tuve que desconectar y volver a entrar para, porque ya no me dejó regresar a la sala. It's okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Herman Gustavo. Gloria Nicole. Jacqueline Yvette. Jenny. Jenny Elizabeth. Johnny. Ismael. Present. Okay, Jorge Alberto. Carla René, Kenia Guadalupe. Yeah. Hi, Carla. Carla, right? Okay, Kenia Guadalupe. Lisbeth Alessandra. Manuel Antonio. Presente, teacher. Okay, Paola Guadalupe. Sandra Lorena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Soraya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. William Alex Alexander. Alexander. Present teacher. Janira. Geraldine. Nidia. Areli. Araceli, perdón. En Blanca Estela. Well, thank you so much for the ones Present. that are Thank you, Blanca. Thank you so much for every everyone that is here, that, that is paying attention, is participating. Thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate it. Manténganse así hasta el final. Okay. 
porque la perseverancia que ustedes tengan en este curso es lo que los va a llevar al siguiente, al siguiente, al siguiente, al siguiente. Al final va a obtener su diploma y va a hablar el, el idioma, ¿ok? Good. Uh, we're going to work in the homework that, that we are missing. So please go to the platform. Vamos a trabajar la tarea 2 y 3 si es posible. Pero vayan a la plataforma. Veamos si funciona ahora porque ayer no me estaba funcionando. Teacher no está compartiendo. No, no estoy compartiendo. Quiero primero abrir la pantalla de la, de la plataforma. Déjenme ver. Okay, ahorita voy a compartir. Esta es la dos. Ok. 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 Uh, number one. Who is responsible for supervising the staff? Supervising. Supervising. That is correct. Okay, and then it says, who is in charge of mm -hmm. checking checking the quality and mm -hmm. quantity of the t-shirts? Checking, okay. Who is in charge of repairing. repairing repairing the problem of the shopping containers? Okay, who is accountable for selling selling, selling selling the products at the warehouse? The warehouse is la bodega. Okay, who is in charge of assisting? Assisting the customers. Send it. Congrats today. Congratulations. You did it. Okay, there you have the homework two. En el dos. Please try to complete it, okay? Trátenlo de completar en este momento para que no se le vaya acumulando y luego usted no tenga tiempo. Ok, veamos si podemos hacer la, la número 3. <coughs> no, esta todavía no. Vamos a estudiar los, los uh, Passive Voice tomorrow. Vamos a estudiar la Passive Voice para hacerla tomorrow. Ok, but we are good here. Vamos por la 2 ahorita. So, do you have questions about that? ¿Tienen preguntas de esta? De de la tarea 2 no teacher ok excellent good night ok good night everybody thank you so much for your attention for being here for your participation good night teacher good night good night everyone take care good night teacher Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Miss Sosa, finish the class. Mm -hmm. eh, no <laughs> oh, not only is she. There are a lot <laughs> that is sleeping, I guess. But it's <laughs> <laughs> yes. Miss Sosa. 
Are you there, please? <laughs> so the problem is if you go to the bed with your cell phone, right, to listen to the class, so you will get a sleep. You are going to... Okay, teacher, bye-bye. <laughs> See you. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.